6 chapter 2 components of food the objectives of the lesson are to introduce the concept of proteins as one of the components of food that helps in bodybuilding to explain proteins as a component of food under the following heading meaning and function sources and testing at the end of the lesson the students should be able to consider proteins as bodybuilding food and they should be explain they should be able to explain the meaning and function sources and testing of proteins we know that the various components of food are carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals and dietary fibers and today we are discussing about proteins so what are proteins proteins are bodybuilding nutrients or bodybuilding food they help in growth maintenance and repair of our body cells tissues muscles and each and every organ proteins can be animal proteins and plant based proteins people eat either of these proteins or both the proteins depending on their culture beliefs and traditions people who are vegetarians they solely depend on the plant based proteins and people who are not vegetarians they eat both plant based and animal based proteins some of the functions of proteins in our body are growth and development of the body proteins manage wear and tear of all cells of our body then bone and muscle development they form protective layer for skin hair and nails proteins build immunity as antibodies and proteins help in transport of oxygen to various parts of the body in the form of hemoglobin what are the various sources of proteins in our diet plant based or plant sources of proteins are yellow moong dal urad dal pumpkin seeds chana dal sprouted moong sprouted masoor sprouted chana tuwar dal and soy milk so here are some of the examples and the pictures given for you for a clarification on how this dal and sprouted things look like some of the animal sources of proteins are milk chicken egg fish goat meat lamb meat etc how can we test for the presence of protein in a food the test for protein in our food is known as biuret test so we have to conduct this test in the following way when we are conducting the test we should maintain a record and write the test in this way first write the aim to test for presence of proteins in a food item materials required by uric agent which is copper sulfate and caustic soda solution then a food material under testing mortar and pestle to prepare a paste of the food item two test tubes dropper and tissue paper procedure should be take the food material and make a paste using mortar and pestle make a solution of this material in a test tube now add biuret solution drop by drop approximately 3 to 4 drops what do we observe we observe the color of solution changes to either pink or purple so we can draw a conclusion that the used food item contains protein if pink or purple color does not develop then the food item does not contain protein this is how the look of the food item should be the solution should be it should either be deep purple and if it is a deep purple color then the food item contains protein what happens if you do not eat enough protein every day then the children suffer from a disease called kwashiorkor it is a protein malnutrition caused by a severely inadequate amount of protein in the diet what are the symptoms delayed growth in children a swollen stomach and frequent infections are the symptoms and how can we treat kwashiorkor the treatment for kwashiorkor may include a slow increase in calories followed by an increase in protein